Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to talk to you all today about how to start a lawn care business with minimal money. Not for free, not for a thousand dollars, maybe a thousand dollars, I don't know. But not a whole lot of money can to invest into a lawn care business and you can start it today if you wanted to. First things to do to find any kind of equipment that I've seen work and I've kind of done myself. But ads on Craigslist looking for cheap or free lawnmowers that need fixed. Look on Facebook Marketplace. Look around the curb. Ask people just anything like that. You'll be fine stuff. A lot of people may say, oh, you can't do that. It's degrading and all this. Bull, you can find some very good equipment for next to nothing, if not completely free. And I've done it before. I'll show you in a minute what I've got. I'm going to discuss some things first. Uh, Mostly what you will find cheap or free is going to be of the lawn and garden tractor variety. And there is nothing wrong with starting out with a lawn and garden tractor. They cut the grass, and if you put a little work into them, if they need it, they can cut, you know, very good. They're obviously not going to be as uh, fast or whatever as a zero turn, but depending on your area, you may not even need a zero turn. I live in southwest Virginia, and... There's very few yards around here that are flat that you can really use a zero turn on. You mo most likely would need a walk behind or maybe a stander, but a garden tractor, especially a garden tractor, even lawn tractors, can do just as well or nearly as well as those types of mowers. I know they will because I've used I use garden tractors primarily, and they can climb hills like anything else. I could. I can take these mowers places that some people might would have difficulty taking walk behinds. But first example of a cheaply found good mower to start a business with is my GT 235 John Deere. I got that mower for free. It had about 900 hours on it when I got it. 900 something hours when I got it. <clears throat> a co-worker of mine gave it to me and said it needed a starter. Well, I looked on Amazon, I found a starter for it. It was about 70 bucks. So I put that on it. I put a new gas line on it and a new grommet in the fuel tank and fuel filter and just, you know, kind of basic stuff. Not very difficult to do, which is another point I forgot. What another point is having some knowledge of how to do work on small engine equipment. If you are mechanically inclined, you're that much better off. Some people may not be that way. You can look on YouTube, Google, whatever. You can find how to do pretty much anything you can think of, especially when it comes to mechanic work. So if you're so if you find a free or very cheap mower, you're most likely going to have to do some mechanical work to it. So but I put the gas line in it, I put a new air filter in it. I had to clean the car two or three times, the carburetor two or three times. The, it still don't run the best at anything below full throttle, but at full throttle it works good and it mows good and everything. And that mower is a very good mower. It's very reliable. It's got over a thousand hours on it now, but it works good, it starts good, everything. It, you could easily start a lawn care business with this mower. You go out and you find a cheap mower, a free mower, whatever, you got it fixed up. What next? You need a trimmer. Keep an eye on Facebook and Craigslist. Stick with the big name brand trimmers. Steel, Husqvarna, and Echo. Especially steel, and that's me being biased. I like steel. I've used steel extensively. I've used some Husqvarna stuff and I wasn't very impressed. More on that later. I've not used anything by Echo, but steel equipment lasts forever. The homeowner brand stuff from steel or any of these other brands, but especially steel, works amazing. You can easily use it commercially, especially if you keep up on maintenance to keep the air filters changed and everything like that. They will last forever. As long as you run your mixed gas properly through them, they will last forever. I have <clears throat> on my trailer right now a FS55 homeowner straight shaft steel that works great. It's powerful for its size. 
it holds a lot of line. It takes the exact same head. The Auto Cut 25 is what the big, bigger commercial grade trimmers take, and it works absolutely wonderful. Now, a perfect example of how to get one of them, or you, you can get one of them cheap. I was on a yard with a helper of mine. The neighbor came over and I was talking to my helper. They knew each other from years past or whatever. That neighbor had found a FS55 at a trash dump that somebody throwed out. It was so new the gas tank wasn't even faded. It was still like that clear off-white color. The only thing wrong with it, the cap on the trimmer head and the spool was missing. That's it. It ran absolutely perfect. My helper bought that weed eater off that guy for five bucks. Even though he found it for free, he bought it. He gave. He wanted five bucks for it, which that's a steal. Get it? That's a steal on such a trimmer. And you can find on Amazon those heads for next to nothing. I recently bought a pack of the heavy duty gearbox with the trimmer head, full of line, and all kinds of stuff for thirty-five dollars. So for $40, you got a good quality straight shaft steel trimmer. That's, you know, as an example, that's what I've seen and what I've done before. That, you know, so we're at $100 for a ride mower, $40 for a weed eater. What do you need next? You need a blower. I've seen the steel handheld blowers for as cheap as 50 bucks on Eric's list. You may have to put some work into them, you may not. But even new, those blowers are like 150 bucks. I have a BG50, that's the only blower that I have, and it's an absolute beast. It works great, it starts reliably, and it's brand new, so it had a warranty on it, so if you wanna go that route with, because the blower's cheap, you can do that, or you can find one cheaper and you know put a little money into it or whatever, and there you go. Roughly $200, maybe a little bit more now for a mower, blower, and trimmer. What else do you need? Well, if you got a vehicle that could tow it, you might need a trailer. I got an absolutely great deal on a trailer. It's a six, uh, five by 12, a very heavy duty trailer. I absolutely love that trailer. I got it off a fellow YouTuber. I paid 600 bucks for it. That's a steal on such a trailer. But you can find other trailers on those websites, you know, even cheaper or whatever. So you can look around on there. You may pay $400 or whatever at the cheapest and may have great luck with it you may have to put some money into it like barons and different things like that so you're at around 200 250 now you got about roughly 400 more dollars on it so you're at 650 dollars you got everything you need except for gas cans and string and stuff gas cans string and mix and gas and you know different things like that just to get started to go on your first lawn you're looking at less than another hundred dollars so at the most, you can get your start, uh, lawn care business started with less than a hundred, uh, less than a thousand dollars, just looking around on this kind of stuff. A lot of people may say, "Well, I can't do that in my area. I never come across such things and whatnot." Just look around. Look on Facebook. Look on Craigslist. Just drive around your neighborhood or walk around your neighborhood. And look for lawnmowers that people throw out, even push mowers. You know, there's nothing wrong with starting out with a push mower, especially if you know what kind of yards you need to get started with. Stay with small yards and charge decent prices, you know, competitive decent prices for push mowing yards, and you can get started easily with next to no money going into the business. Another example of a mower, I found a, my customer gave me a, G, a Cub Cadet GT1554. For free that had less than 250 hours on it the only thing I did to is change the oil uh, I didn't even change the gas line change the fuel filter change the oil the oil filter the air filter and put a new battery on it because the old battery was bad and the tires even held air it didn't need belts nothing so a hundred dollars a fifty dollar maintenance kit and a fifty dollar battery I had a great mower I ended up giving it to my aunt because she mows like an acre with a 42 inch mower but uh, I've used it now twice because I've had problems with my main mower and I needed enough mower to help me mow or whatever but uh, $100 a great lawnmower 54 inch cut you could take on the big yards with that you know you could take on some hilly properties if you, you, know, you just know how to ride hills 
or whatever, you can make it work for you. So there's absolutely no excuse if you want to get started in this business to just go at it and get started for even very little money. Another place you can uh, look at is your scrapyard and your trash dump areas and your and your trash dumps in your areas. I've heard of some of the local scrapyards, people have took mowers to the scrapyards that have absolutely nothing wrong with them. There's one guy had a big John Deere at a scrapyard. I never got to see it. I don't know what it was or whatever. He's a big John Deere garden tractor, kind of like what I've got. They just took it there because it needed like a spindle or something on the deck. It ran perfect. Everything was perfect with the mower. It just needed a spindle on the deck. And you can find spindles on Amazon for next to nothing. If I was going to recommend brands of lawn tractors to start out with, I would go with Deer. I am biased, but Deer products last forever. This GT235 is probably a 20 year old mower and it's got a thousand hours on it. And mechanically, other than the starter going out, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's a lot of hours for any mowers. And being that old and everything, to be in perfect shape, and the seat cushions are gone and the hood is gone. But of course, all John Deere hoods are going to be gone. They're plastic, so they don't last forever anyway. But who needs a hood? Running a mower with no hood on it doesn't hurt. Running a mower with no hood on it doesn't hurt anything at all. And if a customer or anybody says anything to you about your uh, equipment looking kind of janky or something other because it has no hood on it or just, you know, whatever, it looks cheap or whatever, you don't need that customer no way. I've never seen anybody, I've never had anybody say that to me personally, but I would drop them instantly. And that's just simply because you don't need something like that. But anyway... Like I say, there's no excuse to not get started in this industry if you want to. Just go out, look around. If you have a little money put back, you're all that much better off. Just put a little money into it. It don't take much to get started, and it just only goes up from there. So, if you have any questions or comments, so leave them in the comment section below. I'll reply to all of them that I can, and I'll see you all in the next video.